How's it going everyone? My name is Dan with NM Rocketry Reviews. Super excited to be here today and we're going to be doing some career mode Kerbal Space Program. I'll talk about it a bit more later, but let's jump right in. So this is like a little career mode thing I've been working on for about a week or two. And as you can see, we have like a level 3 tracking station, level 3 R&D facility, um, a level 2 mission control right here and a, uh, let's see, a level two space plane hangar and things like that. Um, I didn't really feel like starting a whole new career mode type of gameplay, so I just decided we just go with this one that I've been working on for maybe like a week or two. So let's get started. So let's first start off in the mission control center. So we've got a couple of contracts here. Hmm. I guess we can do this one. This one seems pretty easy, gives you a lot of credits. So pretty much what I've been thinking is uh, maybe every two days, every three days, maybe even every day based on our schedule, um, we could just do a quick little career mode, gameplay, something fun every once in a while, maybe a quick little contract every day, just so we can keep the content going on our channel. So I got two contracts here. One is the Explore Minmus one. And I've been a bit lazy and since this one doesn't have an expiration date, I've just been holding on to it. Let's go ahead for today, let's do this one. Detect three comets with a sentinel infrared telescope. It's pretty easy, we just need to put one of these in orbit around the sun. So, let's see. Let's just use this one. Or, I mean, we're just going in orbit around the sun, so I'm. let's go with the cheapest one. I'm guessing this is the OKTO. Can you close out? Thank you. All right. So, um, hmm. Let's see. Well, of course, we're going to need the Sentinel Infrared Telescope. Like that. And then let's go ahead and add like a couple of batteries on there, maybe like three. Don't need that much. And then just add like, I don't know, solar panels. I think these will do. Hopefully. Uh, let's do this. Oh wait, th this is eight sided, so we need four like that, and then like four like that. I think that'll give us enough electric charge. Um, let's put, uh, we don't need that. And then let's just put a relay antenna on there. So I've been doing this contract, like this is the fifth or sixth time that I've been doing this contract. So um, what's really nice about this contract is not only do you put these satellites around orbit, if you put relay antennas, you can have like a relay network around Kerbin, which can be pretty useful. So we got that going. Just in case we run out of fuel, I doubt that. Let's just add this with like, I don't know. Mm, la, la, la. Where is that? This thing, the spider. Let's add like four of these. Well, not six, four. Like that. Yeah, so I guess this is our new plan for I, I think our new schedule for Kerbal Space Program videos is going to be like uh, like doing these maybe three or four times a week, doing contracts every once in a while, and, and then maybe on Saturdays or like every Sunday I'll try, I'll do my best to put out like, you know, the usual videos that we do where we like go on a cool little mission to do now in uh, sandbox mode, something like that. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below if you guys like the idea. If you guys hate it, and yeah, just critique me, I guess. So there we go. And then we want this to be cheap. So let's just get one, two, put some struts on this. I feel like this is too wide. Let's do this. Let's use the 2.5 meter shell. Go like this, like that, and we want this to be cheap, so let's just put, we root this up, and like that. All right, there we go. I think this will. Correct me if my if I'm wrong, but I think the best way to get into solar orbit is just to go straight up, full send. In fact, to do that, I think. This expensive. Yeah, that's way more expensive. Let's just do that. 
Let's see if we can get into solar orbit with this. So staging should be pretty straightforward. Add this there and this there. We'll probably deploy the fairing if all goes to plan. All right, let's give this a shot. Am I forgetting anything? Come on, all right. All right, we're good. Let's launch this thing. So hopefully I'll go to plan. We'll just, I think the best way is just to go straight up. That's what I'm hoping. So we'll just go straight up, I guess. And while it does its thing, I guess we can talk a bit. So yeah, this is my new plan for Kerbal Space Program. Just do career mode. I think that's pretty fun. Not a lot of uh, people do that. And I kind of want to do some original content. So I think that'd be pretty cool. So do this every once in a while, you know, and fun stuff on Saturdays and maybe a live stream every month. Who knows? But yeah, because um, we haven't been uh, uploading a lot because of the balloon project and that thing, we were trying to meet a deadline and we didn't know it'd be that much work. So we, we were kind of busy, so we didn't upload as much, but hopefully we can get back into the swing of things. So our apoapsis is looking good. Yeah, I think I think this is the best way. I don't know. It might it might even be cheaper just to put like two solid rocket boosters and just go straight up. Uh, we'll just wait. So yeah. All right. So I only have one mod I think installed. It's the Kerbal Engineer. It's super useful, these little readouts, you know? That's about it. I don't, I don't plan on putting any other mods on. I do want, may, I might add more like texture mods, things like that, but I think we're good so far. Yeah, look at our Apple apps. It should rise faster and faster. And if not, we also have a second stage on there. Oh yeah, we're going pretty fast now, so. Alright, we're in space already. We're steadily climbing up and increasing our velocity. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and deploy the fairing. Forgot to do that. Oh yes, there we go. See we didn't even need those next two stages. That was perfect. We can deploy that. Bam. For some reason SAS always gets disabled when I do that. Oh, whoops. Oh, we don't need that. All right. So, now we just need to time warp. Let's see, yup, and then I think how it works is it automatically does it, so we just need to like time warp till it detects three of them. So we can just wait, I guess. I guess it can do it like at the same time, but I kinda wanna you know, complete the contract during the video, so we'll just wait. Yeah. Well, nothing's happening. Uh, the mapping process will happen passively. Oh yeah, I know that. Wasting time. I guess it's not detecting any. We'll just wait here, I guess. That is strange. Oh, one, two, just one more. One more, come on. Oh, there we go. And we have finished the, the contract there. So let's head back to the space center and then we will accept our new contract and see if there's any cool ones out there. But yeah, there we go. Our credits here our money has gone up I don't know about you guys but I I've, I haven't accepted one strategy yet I haven't found any of them really useful uh, I don't like yielding reputation I don't need science oh, la, la, la. nothing looks that nothing looks great um hmm all right 
So I believe that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's kind of short, but I plan to have these videos going every day or every two days or so. So hopefully we can stick to that schedule unless things get a bit busy with us. But sorry for the short video, but that's um, probably going to be our video schedule from now on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, tell me how you like this new video plan, what you guys think, any ideas you guys have for Kerbal Space Program. Don't forget to go check out those links down in the description for like more content, stuff like that. But anyways, um, other than that, have a great day.